Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to make the most flakiest, crispiest paratha ever. This is my no-fail recipe and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's go. So for this recipe, I'm using a stand mixer but you can go ahead and make this by hand. Go in with 6 cups of all-purpose flour and 3.5 teaspoon of salt. Next, crack in one egg. Make sure the egg is at room temperature. Now go ahead and add 1.5 cup of water. Don't add all of it at the same time. Pour it in parts. If the dough seems to be too sticky, go ahead and add some flour. But if it's too thick, go ahead and add the rest of the water. Once the dough starts to pull in, go in with 1 tablespoon of ghee, also known as clarified butter. Once you have a really soft dough, go in and add it to an oiled bowl. Allow it to rest from 30 minutes to 1 hour. After it's been rested, go ahead and cut out your desired amounts. With this dough, I was able to cut out 10 pieces. I just formed each one into circles. So now roll out each circle into a very thin sheet. Once it's thin, go ahead and add one teaspoon of ghee. Spread this all around and sprinkle a good amount of flour on top. I'm gonna show you two ways to fold a paratha. This is the first way. So the first way is one of my favorite ways to fold the paratha. So fold halfway from the bottom and halfway from the top. Next, you're going to fold as if you're making a paper fan. So fold a small rectangle on one side, flip it around and make the same fold on the other side. So make sure you pat down on the dough and you want to stretch it out a little bit. Don't use too much force and overstretch it or else it will rip. So what you want to do is wrap these around two fingers and create the spiral shape. Make sure you tuck in the ends once you're done and allow it to sit for 15 minutes before rolling them out. On to the second way of folding the paratha dough. So go ahead and roll out a thin layer. Add some ghee, sprinkle on some flour and cut down from the middle. And start folding like I did in the video. Once you're done folding, you want to go ahead and press down top to bottom to create a flat disc. And there you have it. Two ways to create paratha. So after allowing them to rest for 15 minutes, go ahead and roll them out. Make sure it's one inch thick. Add it to a pan that's already on medium-high heat. Once one side becomes light brown, sprinkle some ghee, around half a teaspoon. Flip it around and allow both sides to become golden crispy brown. Thank you. 
And there you have it, the most crispiest, flakiest paratha you'll ever make. I hope you liked this recipe. If you did, make sure you check out my other recipes. Until then, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.